reading through the Bible in one year. Today we are on day number oops, 231. Day 231, we begin the prophet Ezra, chapters 1 and 2, and we finish, conclude the Gospel of John with the 21st chapter. Beginning reading, the Bi- reading through the Bible in one year, day 231, English Standard Version, beginning with Ezra, the first chapter. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put it into writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has charged me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever is among you of all his people, may his God be with him, and let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and rebuild the house of the Lord, the God of Israel. He is the God who is in Jerusalem. And let each survivor in whatever place he soldiers be assisted by the men of his place with silver and gold, with goods and with beasts, besides free will offerings for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the heads of the fathers' houses of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites, everyone whose spirit God had stirred to go up to rebuild the house of the Lord that is in Jerusalem. And all who were about them aided them with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, with beasts, and with costly wares, besides all that was freely offered. Cyrus the king also brought out the vessels of the house of the Lord that Nebuchadnezzar had carried away from Jerusalem and placed in the house of his gods. Cyrus, king of Persia, brought these out in the charge of Mithridath, the treasurer who counted them out to Shezbazar, the prince of Judah, and this was the number of them, thirty basins of gold, one thousand basins of silver, twenty-nine censers, thirty bowls of gold, 410 bowls of silver and a thousand other vessels. All the vessels of gold and of silver were 5,400. All these did Shezabar bring up when the exiles were brought up from Babylon to Jerusalem. Chapter 2 Now these were the people of the province who came up out of the captivity of those exiles whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried captive to Babylonia. They returned to Jerusalem and Judah each to his own town. They came with Zebubal, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Saria, Rekla, Mordachia, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigval, Rehum, and Bana. The number of the men of the peoples of Israel, the sons of Perush, 2,172. The sons of Shepethath, 372. The sons of Ara, 775. The sons of Pehath, Moab, namely the sons of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812, the sons of Elam, 1,254, the sons of Zatu, 945, the sons of Zakai, 760, the sons of Bani, 642, the sons of Bibai, 623, the sons of Asgad, 1,222, the sons of Adonachem, 666, the sons of Bigveh, 2,056, the sons of Aden, 454, the sons of Atir, namely of Hezekiah, 98, the sons of Bezai, 323, the sons of Jorah, 112, the sons of Hashem, 223, the sons of Gebar, 95, the sons of Bethlehem, 123, the men of Netophah, 56, the men of Anathuth, 128, the sons of Azmeveth, 42, the sons of Kareth, Arim, Shepara, and Beruth, 743, the sons of Ramah and Giba, 621, the men of Michmas, 122, the men of Bethel and I, 223, the sons of Nebo, 52, the sons of Magbish, 156, the sons of the, of the other Elam, 1,254, the sons of Harim, 320, the sons of Lod, Hidid, Uno, 
725, the sons of Jericho, 345, the sons of Sinah, 3630. The priests, the sons of Jedi, of the house of Jeshua, 973, the sons of Emir, 1052, the sons of Pashir, 1247, the sons of Harim, 1017. The Levites, the sons of Jeshua and Kedim, of the sons of Hodavai, 74. The singers, the sons of Asva, 128. The sons of the gatekeepers, the sons of Shalom, the sons of Etir, the sons of Telmon, the sons of Akkob, the sons of Hatita, and the sons of Shobai, in all, 139. The temple servants, the sons of Zeha, the sons of Hasuha, the sons of Tabu, the sons of Karos, the sons of Saha, the sons of Pedon, the sons of Lebanon, the sons of Hagabah, the sons of Akob, the sons of Hagab, the sons of Shamia, the sons of Hanan, the sons of Gilded, the sons of Geha, the sons of Ria, the sons of Rizin, the sons of Nakuri, the sons of Gazam, the sons of Uza, the sons of Pishi, the sons of Besa, the sons of Ashna, the sons of Minim, the sons of Nippish, the sons of Bakbuk, the sons of Hakapah, the sons of Harur, the sons of Bazuth, the sons of Mihaide, the sons of Harsha, the sons of Barkas, the sons of Sisera, the sons of Tima, the sons of Neziah, the sons of Hatapha, the sons of Solomon's servants. the sons of Sotia, the sons of Hasaphorith, the sons of Peruda, the sons of Jala, the sons of Darkan, the sons of Gilil, the sons of Shephathoth, the sons of Hatil, the sons of Pokashrith Hajalbom, the sons of Ammon. All the temple servants and the sons of Solomon servants were 392. The following were those who came up from Tel Melal, El Harish, Sherub, Adon, and Amir. Though they could not prove their father's houses or their descent, whether they belonged to Israel, the sons of Delal, the sons of Tobiah, and the sons of Nicoda, 652. Also the sons of the priest, the sons of Habiah, the sons of Hakaz, and the sons of Barzilia, who had taken a wife from the daughters of Barzilia, the Gilead, and was called by their name. These sought their registration among those enrolled in the genealogy, but they were not found there, and so they were excluded from the priesthood as unclean. The governor told them that they were not to partake of the most holy food until there should be a priest to consult Irim and Thummim. The whole assembly together was 42,360. Besides their male and female servants, of whom there were 7,337, and they had 200 male and female singers. Their horses were 736, their mules 245, their camels 435, and their donkeys 6,720. Some of the heads of families, when they came to the house of the Lord, that is in Jerusalem, made freewill offerings for the house of God to erect it on its site. According to their ability, they gave to the treasure of the work 61,000 derricks of gold, 5,000 minions of silver, and 100 priest's garments. Now the priests, the Levites, some of the people, the singers, the gatekeepers, and the temple servants lived in their towns, and all the rest of Israel in their towns. Now the Gospel of John, we conclude the Gospel of John with the 21st chapter. After this, Jesus revealed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas, called the twin, Nathaniel of Canaan, Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. And they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the shore. 
Yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, do you have any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because of the quantity of fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved, therefore, said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garment, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from land, but about a hundred yards off. When they got out on the land, they saw a charcoal fire in the place, with fish laid on it and bread. And Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have a breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord, and Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and so were the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Feed my lambs. He said to him a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were young, you used to dress yourself and walk wherever you wanted to go. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will dress you and carry you where you do not want to go. This he said to show by what kind of death he was to glorify God. And after saying this, he said to him, Follow me. Peter turned and saw the disciple whom Jesus loved following them, the one who had been reclining at table close to him, and said, Lord, who is it that is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? You follow me. So the saying spread abroad among the brothers that this disciple was not to die, yet Jesus did not say to him that he was not to die, but if it is my will that he remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is bearing witness about these things and who has written these things. And we know that his testimony is true. Now there are also many other things that Jesus did for every one of them to be written. I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. And that's the end of day 231. We began the prophet Ezra chapters 1 and 2 and we completed the Gospel of John, the 21st chapter.